Too much cheese in there. Okay, well, first of all, that's not a thing. That's not possible. Okay, you say that now, but think about what you'll be saying later. Did you just call me fat? Puffy. You. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. This is the way that my mother makes mac and cheese. That's not mac and cheese. Uh, I'm sorry. Macaroni, cheese. That's mac and cheese. That's how it works. <laughs> Negative. Cheese pasta and macaroni and cheese are two different things. First of all, who puts cut up vegetables, tomatoes, and all that herbs inside? It, that's atrocious. Oh, atro atrocious, mm -hmm. he said. He said atrocious. You must be exhausted after such a heavy word. <laughs> you tried it. I sure did. Don't I always? Don't <laughs> I always? <laughs> oh, all right, all right. I don't want to see all that move. Well, then close your eyes then. <gasps> Whatever. Oh, you got a letter. From someone named Debbie. Yeah. She says she's your mother and that she misses you and that she wishes that you would answer her calls. You know, that is so sad. You should really talk to your mother. Did you open my mail? I did. I wanted to know what it said. I mean, who even writes letters anymore? I'm pressing charges. Oh, calm down, princess. It is not that serious. It's actually a federal offense. Yeah. Is it? Okay, whatever that is, that looks like shit. It's, <clears throat> it's gourmet cheese. Oh, mm. doo doo. Ooh. Well, later. <laughs> I can't stand her. I think she's hilarious. <laughs> Have you ever been afraid? Ever looked away from what the world was sending your way? Have you ever tried? your eyes to your heart you ever looked for another way out for a detour around the truth just living lies and wearing a disguise well i'm thinking that you could come to to run to the ocean's edge to a pretty past
I'm vegan. You're vegan? Since when? I've been vegan since before it was cool. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What about those chicken wings you ate last night? Okay, can I just be a weekend vegan? Like, damn, just let me be great. First of all, that's not a thing. Second of all, there are peas in there, so you can eat peas, Mr. Vegan. Okay, the question is, why are there peas in this? The real question is, why didn't you tell me that your mother's been trying to reach out to you for months? Mm. Why do you never talk about her? Or your family, or, or any of what's happened? It's like there's this huge section of your life that I know nothing about. If you want- David, here we listen, go if you again. Want to, if you want this relationship to work, you have to learn to talk. Okay? What if I don't want to talk? Huh? Why can't you just be okay with that? Why can't that be okay? Because holding on to that stuff from your past is not good for you. Or for us. David, here you go again. Okay, I didn't pay for this therapy session. You were always trying to fix me. I'm not- I thought it was me. The me right now that you liked. The me right here. Listen, I know you think that this is all a joke. Oh. Hello? Hey, Dwight. Yeah, I just got out of the studio. Oh my god, I am a hot mess. I think I like, tripped over my feet like a thousand times and I rolled my ankle and I skinned my knee and... I mean, I, I thought it would be a lot easier to get back into this and it's not. And then I went outside to get a drink of water and this guy tries to hit on me. And I told him I literally have to get my life back together and the broken pieces of my heart are not ready to date. And of course, he did not take no for an answer, so now I, I think I have a date. But then I'm worried about Steven and if I did something wrong with him and I should- Okay, 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 Hurricane Low, look, um, it's a great story, but no one has time for your dramatics today. I'm with Dave. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you guys. It's fine. You'll still be home tonight so we can FaceTime Naya, right? Uh, yeah, I'm walking out right now, so I'll be there in time. Great. Bye. You know what? I'm gonna go. He wants to be my therapist more than he wants to be my boyfriend. And I'm just, I'm not here for it. And then this one come blowing in here like a category five, whining about some shit that don't even matter. Excuse you. My life falling apart does matter. It matters more than you complaining about a guy who loves you so much he's willing to say the shit about you that needs to be addressed. You know, you're not the easiest person to be with. Right. Who are you gonna get him together, love? Thank you. Okay, you tried it. You wanna talk about men who love us that we take for granted? Or should I just call Steven over tonight? Whatever. You know that it's a complicated situation and we are not discussing it. Okay, but we're gonna talk about my shit, then we're gonna talk about yours. Okay, that's what I thought. Anyways, hi, <laughs> we miss you. Yay! How's tour life? When are you coming home? Oh, I miss you guys so much. Our tour's great. We've been to 12 cities in the last two weeks. Wow. So I'm really tired. I love it. Look at great. you living the dream. I'm here for it. I'm just doing what I love. <laughs> well, that's all great and all, but um, when are you coming home? I need you here to reel this one in when he starts doing too much. Okay, here you go. Um, actually, I'm coming home in two weeks. <gasps> really? Yeah! Yay! Good, it's about that time, girl. We will throw a party for you when you get here. Oh, and we're gonna find you a man. Mm -hmm. Stop it. <laughs> no, we just want you to live your best life. I am doing just fine. Okay, well, look, just fine. I gotta <laughs> go. And, um, yeah, we'll have to talk later. Are you going to be apologizing to Dave? Mm. You know I love you. <laughs> Anyways, I got to go too. I have class in the morning. Girl, you still going to dance like a baby right. giraffe. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. I love you both. Love you love too. You. Bye. 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 <laughs> this one, baby giraffe. Them biscuit Man, feet. Whatever. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Why didn't you tell me? Because it didn't come up. You've been back for weeks now. Staying all over town and lying to your friends. They deserve to know the truth. Damn it, Dave, look. I will tell them when I'm ready, and you better not say a word. Well, can you at least tell me what the hell happened on tour, then you have to come back? It wasn't my decision. What does that mean? I don't want to talk about it right now. What? What is with you guys and not wanting to talk about anything? Look, I need to go. I'm going to borrow your car. Come on. Fine. These things have a way of being found out, you know. Yeah, I know. Thanks for everything.